Hello, and welcome back to theCUBE's AWS reInvent 2022 coverage. I'm John Furrier, host of theCUBE. Got a great lineup here, Itamar Anacorian, SVP Technology Alliance at Click, and Peter McDonald, Vice President, Cloud Partnerships and Business Development Snowflake. We're going to talk about bringing SAP data to life, a joint Snowflake Click and AWS solution. Gentlemen, thanks for coming on theCUBE, really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, so let's get started, introduce yourselves to the audience, then we're going to jump into what you guys are doing together. Uh, unique relationship here, um, really compelling solution in cloud, big story about applications and scale this year. Let's introduce yourselves. Peter, we'll start with you. Great, I'm Peter McDonald. I'm Vice President of Cloud Partners and Business Development here at Snowflake. On the Cloud Partners side, that means uh, I manage the AWS relationship along with Microsoft and Google Cloud. Uh, what we do together in terms of complementary products, GTM, co-selling, things like that. And importantly, working with other third parties like Click for Joint Solutions. On business development, it's negotiating custom commercial partnerships, large companies like Salesforce and Dell, smaller companies like most of our venture portfolio. Uh, thanks, Peter, and uh, hi, John. It's uh, uh, great to be back here. Uh, so I'm Itamar Ancoyon. I'm the Senior Vice President responsible for Technology Alliances here at Click. Uh, with that, I'm uh, on uh, strategic alliances, including our key partners in the cloud, including Snowflake and AWS. Uh, I've been in the data and analytics enterprise software market for 20 plus years, and my main focus is product management, marketing, alliances, and business development. I joined Click about three and a half years ago through the acquisition of Attunity, which is now the foundation for Click data integration. So again, we focus in my team on creating joint solution alignments with our key partners to provide more value to our customers. Great to have both you guys, senior executives in the industry on theCUBE here talking about data, obviously bringing data, SAP data to life is the theme of this segment, but this reInvent, it's all about the data, big data end to end story, a lot about data being intrinsic as the CEO says on stage around in the organizations in all aspects. Take a minute to explain what you guys are doing as, from a company standpoint, Snowflake and Click um, and, and, and the solutions. Why here at AWS? Peter, we'll start with you at Snowflake. What you guys do as a company, your, your, your mission, your, your focus. That was great, John. Yeah, so here at Snowflake, we, we focus on the data platform. And until recently, data platforms required expensive on-prem hardware appliances and despite all that expense, customers had capacity constraints, paid expensive maintenance, and had limited functionality. That all impeded these organizations from reaching their goals. Snowflake is a cloud native SaaS platform, and we've become so successful because we've addressed these pain points and have other new special features. For example, securely sharing data across both the organization and the value chain without copying the data. Support for new data types, such as JSON and unstructured data, and also advanced in database data governance. Snowflake integrates with complementary AWS services and other partner products. So we can enable holistic solutions that include, for example, here, both Click and AWS SageMaker and Comprehend and bring those to joint customers. Our customers want to convert data into insights along with advanced analytics platforms and AI. That is how they make holistic data-driven solutions that will give them competitive advantage. With Snowflake, our approach is to focus on customer solutions that leverage data from existing systems such as SAP, wherever they are in the cloud or on-premise. And to do this, we leverage partners like with Native US to help customers transform their businesses. We provide customers with a premier data analytics platform as a result. Itamar, why don't you talk about Click a little bit and then we can dive into the specific SAP solution here and some trends. Sounds, sounds great, uh, Peter. So, Click uh, provides modern data integration and analytics software. Uh, used by over 38,000 customers worldwide. Our, our focus is to help our customers turn data into value and help them close the gap between data all the way through insight and uh, action. We offer click data integration and click data analytics. Click data integration helps to automate the data pipelines to deliver data to where they want to use them in real time and make the data ready for analytics. And then Click Data Analytics is a robust platform for analytics and business intelligence. It's been a leader in the Gartner Magic Quadrant for over 11 years now um, uh, in the market. And both of these come together into what we call Click Cloud, which is our SaaS-based platform. So providing a more seamless way to consume all these services and accelerate time to value with uh, customer solutions. In terms of partnerships, both Snowflake and AWS are very strategic to us here at Click. So we have very comprehensive 
investment to ensure strong joint value proposition to what we can bring to our mutual customers. Everything from aligning our roadmaps through optimizing and validating integrations, collaborating on best practices, packaging joint solutions like the one we'll talk about today. And, and with that investment, we are an elite level, top level partner with Snowflake. We validate our technology, it's Snowflake ready across the entire product set. And we have hundreds of joint customers together. And with AWS, we've also partnered for, for a long time. Uh, we're here at reInvent. Uh, we've been here in the first reInvent since the inaugural one. So it kind of gives you an idea for how long we've been working with AWS. We provide very comprehensive integration with AWS data analytics services. And we have several competencies ranging from data analytics to migration and modernization. So that's that's our focus. And uh, again, we we're excited about working with Snowflake and AWS to bring solutions together to market. Well, I'm looking forward to uh, unpacking the solution specifically and congratulations on the continued success of both you, your companies. Uh, we've been following them obviously uh, for a very long time and seeing the, 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 the platform evolve beyond just SaaS and a lot more going on in cloud these days. It's kind of next generation emerging. Um, you know, we're seeing a lot, lot of macro trends that are going to be powering some of the things we're going to get into real quickly. But before we get into the solution, what are some of those power dynamics in the industry that you're seeing and trends specifically that are impacting your customers that, that, are, that are taking us down this road of getting more out of the data and specifically the SAP, but in general, trends and dynamics, what are you hearing from your customers? Why do they care? Why are they going down this road? Peter, we'll start with you. Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and start, thanks. Yeah, I, I'd say we, we continue to see customers being being very eager to transform their businesses, and they know they need to leverage technology and data to do so. They're also increasingly depending upon the cloud to bring that agility, that elasticity, new functionality necessary to react in real time to ever evolving customer needs. You look at what's happened over the last three years, and boy, in the macro environment, customers, it's all changing so fast. Um, with our partnerships with AWS uh, and Click, we've been able to bring to market uh, innovative solutions like the one we're announcing today uh, that spans all three companies that provides a holistic solution and an integrated solution for our customers. Itamar, let's get into it. You've, you've been with theCUBE, you've seen the journey, you have your own journey many, many years, you've seen the waves. What's going on now? I mean, what's the big wave? What's the dynamic powering this trend? Yeah, in a, uh, in a nutshell, I'll call it, uh, it's, it's all about time. You know, it's uh, time to value, and it's about real time data. I'll kind of talk about that a bit. So, well, I mean, you hear a lot about the data being the new oil, uh, but it's definitely, we see we see more and more customers seeing data as their critical enabler for innovation and digital transformation. They look for ways to monetize data. They look as the data is the way in which they can innovate and bring different value to their customers. Uh, so we see customers want to use more data. So they get more value from data. We definitely see them wanting to do it faster, right, than before. And we definitely see them looking for agility and automation as ways to accelerate time to value and also reduce overall costs. Uh, I did mention real-time data. So we definitely see more and more customers that want to be able to act and make decisions based on fresh data. So yesterday's data is just not good enough. Yeah. It's got to be down to the hour, down to the minute, and sometimes even, even lower than that. And then I think we're also seeing customers look to their core business systems where they have a lot of value like the SAP, like mainframe and thinking, okay, our core data is there. How can we get more value from this data? So that's that's key things we see all the time with customers. You know, we, we, we did a big editorial segment this year on, we call data as code. Data as code is kind of a riff on infrastructure as code. And you start to see data becoming proliferating into all aspects, fresh data. It's not just where you store it, it's how you share it. It's how you turn it into an application, intrinsically involved in all aspects. This is the big theme this year. Um, and it, that's driving all the conversation here at reInvent. And I'm guaranteeing you, it's going to happen for another five and 10 years. It's not stopping. So I got to get into the solution. You guys mentioned SAP and you've announced the solution by Click, Snowflake and AWS for your customers using SAP. Can you share more about this solution? What's unique about it? Why is it important and why now? Peter, uh, Itamar, uh, we'll start with you first. Uh, let, let, let me jump in. This is really, I'll jump because I'm excited. You know, <laughs> we're, we're very excited about this solution. And it's also a solution, by the way, and again, we've seen proven customer success with it. So to your point, it's ready to scale, it's starting. I think we're going to see a lot of companies doing this over the next few years. 
But before we jump to the solution, let me maybe take a few minutes just to clarify the need, why, why we're seeing, why we're seeing customers jump to do this. So customers that use SAP, they use it to manage the core of their business. So think order processing management, finance, inventory, supply chain, and, and so much more. So if you're, if you're running SAP in your company, that data creates a great opportunity for you to drive innovation and modernization. So what we see customers want to do, they want to do more with that data. And more means they want to take SAP with non-SAP data and use it together to drive new insights. They want to use real-time data to drive real-time analytics, which they couldn't do to date. They want to bring together descriptive with predictive analytics, so adding machine learning and AI to drive more value from the data. And naturally, they want to do it faster, so find ways to iterate faster on their solutions, have freedom with the data and agility. And I think this is really where cloud data platforms like Snowflake and AWS you know, bring that value to be able to, to drive that. Now, to do that, you need to unlock the SAP data, which is a lot of also where Click comes in, because typical challenges these customers run into is the complexity inherent in SAP data. Tens of thousands of tables, proprietary formats, complex data models, licensing restrictions, and more. Then you have performance issues they usually run into. How do we handle the throughput, the volumes, while maintaining low latency and impact? Where do we find knowledge to really understand how to, to get all of this done? So these are the things we've looked at when we came together to create a solution and make it unique. So when, when you think about its uniqueness, because we put together a lot, and I'll go through three, four key things that come together to make this unique. First is about data delivery. How do you have the SAP data delivery? So how do you get it from ECC, from HANA, from S4 HANA? How do you deliver the data and the metadata and how that integration well into, into Snowflake? And what we've done is we focused a lot on optimizing that process and the continuous ingestion. So the real-time ingestion of the data in a way that works really well with the Snowflake um, uh, system. Data cloud. Second thing is we looked at SAP data transformation. So once the data arrives at Snowflake, how do we turn it into um, uh, being analytics ready? So that's where data transformation and data warehouse automation uh, come in. And these are all elements of this solution. So creating derivative data sets, creating data marts, and all of that is done by, again, creating an optimized integration that pushes down SQL-based transformations so they can be processed inside Snowflake, leveraging its powerful engine, right? And then the, the third element is bringing together data visualization analytics that can also take all the data now that's been organized inside Snowflake, bring other data in, bring machine learning from SageMaker, and then you're going to create a seamless integration to bring analytic applications to life. And so these are all things we put together in the solution. And maybe the last point is we actually take the next step with this and we created something we refer to as solution accelerators, which we're really, really keen about. Think about these as pre-packaged templates for common business analytic needs, like order to cash, finance, inventory. And we can, we can maybe dig into that a little more later, but this gets the next level of value to the customers all built into this joint solution. Yeah, I want to get at that accelerators, but real quick, Peter, your reaction to this solution, what's unique about it? Obviously Snowflake, we've been seeing the progression data applications, more developers developing on top of Snowflake, data as code kind of implies developer ecosystem. This is kind of interesting. I mean, you got partnering with Click and AWS, it's kind of a developer-like thinking, real solution. What's unique about this SAP solution that's, that's different than what customers can get anywhere else or not? Yeah, well, listen, I, I think first of all, you have to start with the idea of the solution. This is, this is three companies coming together to build a holistic solution that, that is all about, you know, creating a great opportunity to turn SAP data into value, as Edmar is talking about. That's really what we're talking about here. Um, and there's a lot of technology underneath it. I'll talk more about the Snowflake technology, what's involved here, uh, and then cover some of the AWS pieces as well. Um, but, you know, we're focusing on getting that value out and accelerating time to value for our joint customers. As Edmar was saying, you know, there's a lot of complexity with the SAP data and a lot of value there. How can we manage that in a pre-packaged way, bringing together best of breed solutions with proven capabilities and bring this to market quickly for our joint customers. You know, Snowflake and AWS have been strong partners for a number of years now. 
Um, and that's not only on how Snowflake runs on top of AWS, but also how we integrate with our complementary analytics and ML products. And so, you know, we want to be able to leverage those in addition to what Click is bringing in terms of the, the data transformation, bringing data out of SAP and the visualization as well. Um, all very critical. Um, and then we want to bring in the predictive analytics that AWS brings in with SageBreak. I'll talk about that a little bit later on. Some of the technologies that we're leveraging are some of our, our, our latest cutting edge technologies that really make things easier for both our partners and our customers. For example, Click leverages Snowflake's recent release Snowpark for Python functionality to push down those data transformations from Click into Snowflake that Edmar is mentioning. And while we also leverage Snowpark for integrations with Amazon SageMaker, so there's a lot of great new technology that just makes this easy um, and compelling for customers. I think that's the big word, easy button here for what may look like a complex kind of integration, kind of turnkey, really, really compelling an example of the modern era we're living in, as we always say in theCUBE. Um, you mentioned accelerators, SAP accelerators. Can you give an example of how that works uh, with the technology from the third party providers to deliver this business value in a market? Because that was an interesting comment. What, what's, the, what's the example? Give an example of this accelerator. Yeah. Yes, certainly. I think this is something that really makes this uh, truly, truly unique in the in the industry. And again, a great opportunity for, for customers. So we kind of talked earlier about there's a lot of things that need to be done with the SP data to turn it to value. And these accelerators, as the name suggests, are designed to do just that, to kind of jumpstart the process and reduce the time and the risk involved in such projects. So again, these are pre-packaged templates. We basically took a lot of knowledge, a lot of configurations, uh, best practices about how to get things done, and we we put them together. So think about all the steps. It includes things like data extraction. So already knowing which tables, all the relevant tables that you need to get data from in the context of the solution you're looking for, say like order to cache, we'll get back to that one. How do you continuously deliver that data into Snowflake in an in efficient and, uh, uh, manner? Uh, handling things like data type mappings, metadata naming conventions and, and transformations, the data models you build all the way to data mart definitions and all the transformations that have to, the data needs to go through, moving through steps until it's fully analytics ready. And then on top of that, even adding a library of comprehensive analytic dashboards and integrations to machine learning and, and AI and, and put all of that in a way that's in, pre-integrated and tested to work with Snowflake and AWS. So this is where, again, you get this entire recipe that's, uh, that's, that's ready. So take, take for example, I think I mentioned order to cash. So again, all these things I just talked about, I mean, for those who are not familiar, I mean, order to cash is a, is a critical business process for every organization. So especially if you're in retail, manufacturing, enterprise, it's, it's a big, this is where, you know, starting with booking a sales order, following by fulfilling the order, billing the customer, then managing the accounts receivable when the customer actually pays, right? So this whole process, you got sales order fulfillment and the billing impacts customer satisfaction. You got receivable payments, you know, that impacts working capital, cash liquidity. So again, as a result, this order to cash process is, is a lifeblood for many businesses. And it's critical to optimize and understand. So the solution accelerator we created specifically for order to cash takes care of understanding all these aspects and the data needs to come with it. So everything we outlined before to make the data available in Snowflake in a way that's really useful for downstream analytics along with dashboards that are already common for that, uh, for that use case. So again, this enables customers to gain real-time visibility into their sales orders, fulfillment, accounts receivable performance, that, that's that's what the experts are all about. And very similarly, we have another one, for example, for finance analytics, right? So this will optimize financial data reporting, helps customers get insights into P&L, financial risk, profitability, or inventory analytics that helps with, you know, improved planning and inventory management, utilization, increased efficiencies, you know, so in supply chain. So again, these accelerators really help customers get a jump start and uh, move faster with, uh, with their solutions. Peter, this is the easy button. We just talked about getting things going, you know, get, 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 some, get the ball rolling, get some acceleration. Big part of this is the, is of this with the three companies coming together doing this. Yeah, and, and to build on what Edmar just said, the, the SAP data obviously has tremendous value. Those sales orders, distribution data, financial data, bringing that into Snowflake makes it easily accessible. 
but also it enables it to be combined with other data too. It's one of the things that Snowflake does so well. So you can get a full view of the end-to-end -end process and, and the business overall. You know, for example, I'll, I'll just take one, you know, one example that, that may not come to mind right away, but you know, looking at the impact of weather conditions on supply chain logistics is relevant and material and of interest to our customers. How do you bring those different data sets together in an easy way, bringing the data out of SAP, bringing maybe other data out of other systems through Click? Uh, or through Snowflake directly, bring data in from our data marketplace and bring that all together to make it work. You know, fundamentally organizational silos and the data fragmentation that exists otherwise make it really difficult to drive modern analytics projects. And that in turn limits the value that our customers are getting from SAP data and these other data sets. Yeah. We want to enable, enable that and unleash that. Yeah, time yeah. to value. This is great stuff. In our fi final question, you know, what are customers uh, using this? What do you have? I'm sure you have customers uh, examples already using the solution. Can you share um, kind of what the what these examples look like and the use cases and the value? Oh yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Uh, happy to. We, we we have customers across different different sectors. You see, manufacturing, retail, energy, oil and gas, CPG. So again, any customers in those. Segments typically, sectors typically have SAP, so we, we have customers in all of them. Um, a, a great example is uh, the, um, um, Siemens Energy. Siemens Energy is a global provider of gas, power services, you know, over what, 28 billion, 30 billion in revenue, 90,000 employees. They operate globally in over 90 countries. Uh, so they, they, they've used SAP HANA as a core system. So it's running on premises, multiple locations around the world. and what they were looking for is a way to bring all this data together so they can innovate with it. And I think as Peter mentioned earlier, not just the SAP data, but also bring other data from other systems to bring it together for more value. And that includes finance data, these logistics data, these customer and CRM data. So they bring data from over 20 different SAP systems. Okay, with click data integration, feeding that into Snowflake in under 20 minutes, 24 seven, 365 yeah, you know, days a year. Yeah, they get data from over 20,000 tables, you know, over you know, million, hundreds of millions of records daily going in. So it is a great example of the type of scale, scalability, agility, and speed that they can get to drive drive these kind of innovation. Yeah. yeah so that's that's a great example with Siemens. That's you know, great. another one comes to mind is a global manufacturer. Very similar scenario, but you know, they're using it for. Um, it's real-time executive reporting. So it's more like visibility to the production data as well as for financial analytics. So think think, think about any of everything from audit to tax to end of end financial in, uh, intelligence because all the data is coming from, from SAP. It's a great time to be in the data business. Again, it keeps getting better and better. There's more data coming, it's not stopping. You know, it's, it's growing so fast. It keeps coming every, every year. Which is, it's the same story, Peter. It's like, it doesn't stop coming. Um, as we wrap up here, let's just, get customers some information on how to get started. I mean, obviously you're starting to see the Accelerate's great program there. What a great partnership between the two companies and AWS. How can customers get started to learn about the solution and take advantage of it? Getting more out of their SAP data, Peter. Yeah, I, I think the first place to go to is, is talk to Snowflake, talk to AWS, talk to our account executives that are assigned to your account, uh, reach out to them uh, and they will be able to educate you on the solution. Uh, we have packages up very nicely. Uh, and can be deployed very, very quickly. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for coming on. Appreciate the conversation. Great overview of the partnership between you know, Snowflake and Click and AWS and a joint solution, you know, getting more out of the SAP data. It's really kind of a key, key solution, bringing SAP data to life. Thanks for coming on theCUBE, appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, thank you, John. it's theCUBE coverage here at reInvent 2022. I'm John Furrier, your host of theCUBE. Thanks for watching.